Agencies in New York State have handed out more than $2 billion in tax breaks in recent years. And these IDAs, these agencies, can waive property sales or mortgage recording taxes to private businesses in exchange for creating jobs and stimulating the economy. But the tax breaks mean less revenue for things like local school districts. This week, WENY investigates these industrial development agencies and looks into criticism about the way some of them are operating. WENY's New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein joins us live with more tonight. Elise. Nick, we're not a good evening. Some New York State lawmakers tell me that some of these agencies are acting in a way they feel is legally corrupt and unethical. They say that some of these agencies are seeking financial benefits for themselves on the backs of taxpayers. New York's industrial development agencies are under increasing scrutiny for how they spend money. More than 100 of the industrial development agencies, or IDAs, operate around the state. They are supposed to provide tax breaks to companies that generate jobs and help boost New York's economy. But some lawmakers are troubled by alleged mismanagement and lack of accountability. Right now, in many counties and many communities, it is the Wild West. They feel like, and in many cases, unfortunately, they can, do whatever they want and get away with it, with little to no accountability. For example, in Chautauqua County, the state found the IDA there misused nearly $2 million in public funds for inappropriate items, ranging from holiday dinners, gifts, even car allowances and golf club memberships, according to an audit report from the state's authorities' budget office. The New York State Authority's Budget Office helps provide oversight of IDA operations. The acting director says local IDA boards must be responsible for tracking expenses. It does, golf memberships don't pass the smell test. Perlman adds the Authority's Budget Office gives IDAs recommendations in their reviews to help guide them appropriately. They shouldn't be out there getting golf memberships. Nonetheless, we have to kind of look at it and and do our analysis and make the recommendation in a review. Since their review, the Chautauqua County IDA instituted reforms and changes. Senator Scoovis wants the legislature to take action and address IDA practices. That type of behavior is egregious and quite frankly, it's disgraceful. And it is emblematic of how some IDAs don't have any respect for the fact that this is public money. In addition to alleged mismanagement of the Chautauqua County IDA, Scoopus points to a Senate committee investigation this past summer that uncovered inflated job projections from Orange County's IDA. Scoopus believes that some of the activity was illegal. He is introducing legislation that would reform IDA practices and increase accountability. Tomorrow night, this WENY investigation continues. We'll show you why some New York State lawmakers are so concerned about oversight and detail legislative proposed reforms. And again, the Chautauqua County IDA has instituted some reforms, and we'll be reporting on that part of the story later this week. Reporting live, Elise Klein, WENY News. Nick, Renata, back to you.